Review number one. Update. Okay, I got the missing hardware within a week and was ready to tackle assembly. Here are my recommendations. The parts are well machined and the instructions are excellent. Do not even attempt to assemble this without following the instructions page by page. Be sure you've got all parts needed for a step, they are itemized and you even get a to size picture of the screws and such. Adjust your attitude so you are thinking you are having a great building adventure and not that you've got to put the asterisk at number. Think together and you'll be happier. Know that this line of solder's furniture is much higher quality than that cheapy stuff you've almost lost your mind over in the past. 1. Assemble the sides. Feel good. Take a break. 2. Assemble the base up through the bumpers in the top. My experience here, the moldings were hard to put on by myself. Be sure the screws are screwed down far enough so the screws do not pop out of the tracks when you slide the moldings on. Feel good. Set your table up where you think you want it and take a good long break. I waited until the next day, and after number three I'm sure glad I did. Three tackle the hardest part, affixing the tabletop. My experience, it says to have help. I didn't. I used an appropriately sized box to hold the tabletop up high enough so I could work on getting the screws aligned with their holes. The first time I did it, I started putting on the tabletop backwards, and it's easy to screw up, so be careful here. It's aggravating enough to do this step without having to undo and redo it. If I had it to do again, I would have put on the chem covers before I put on the tabletop, because they really need to be tapped with a hammer and that's hard to do when the tabletop is on. Guidance on doing this is the only thing I can think of that would be an improvement over the existing assembly instructions. Two things that will make your job go much more smoothly, a magnetic head number two Phillips screwdriver and a small flashlight. One thing I used that you should skip if at all possible, an at turns curious and whining puppy who insists on climbing on your back while you're trying to put the tabletop on, unless you want to add a good hour or more to the task. Summary I love the table. It is a very efficient use of space. It gives me a coffee table in the living room plus a desk I can use with an office chair we use for extra LR seating or, alternatively, use at the sofa, but the office chair arrangement is more ergonomic. It has good deep storage in the top, 15.5 x 37 x 5, that you can hide when company comes over plus room for books or what not on the open shelves. The tallest book you can stand up underneath is 8.5, and most of the ones I use are 6x9s, had there been just a half inch more height on the lower shelves, it would have been absolutely perfect for my needs. But it's still pretty darned great. It would have gotten 5 stars had I not had to wait for hardware. Original review, read this too. This is an incomplete review because, after spending a half hour doing a painstaking inventory of all the parts and pieces, I discovered I was missing a washer and a screw. I went to the solder website to report the problem, and ordering the replacement parts was straightforward. An easy to use specification form followed this intro, at solder. Our furniture business revolves around understanding and addressing our customers' needs. With this in mind, we realize that occasionally mistakes are made. And that is why each new piece of solder furniture includes a limited warranty that covers the replacement of furniture components which may be missing or defective. So I take that to mean I will not be charged for the shipment of the two missing parts. Another important reason for doing an inventory is to ensure none of the parts are damaged. 
Sonder cautions not to assemble the table until you've determined there is no damage. Of course, until I receive the washer and screw, I'm not going to start assembling this table, so I have no way of knowing if the drilled holes are done properly, but the finish was fine and there was no damage to the pieces that would mar the look of the table. The veneer finish is very attractive and, once assembled, I doubt this will look like a pressed wood product. I am leaving my rating at 4 stars until I get more into the assembly process. If they ship out the parts promptly so I don't have to wait long, I won't mark off for that. However, if you have a similar experience to mine, with something missing, be aware there is really no point registering your product until you put it together because many of the registration questions address assembly experience. Review number 2. This is a ready to assemble, press board coffee table. If your expectations are set accordingly, this is the top of the line. Press board furniture, however will never compare with solid wood furniture in terms of durability and strength. With that caveat in mind, this is certainly one of the nicest, most solid pieces of press board furniture I have ever owned or assembled. Assembly is straightforward but time consuming. All of the components are labeled, and the instructional manual is excellent. The only really challenging part was sliding on the thin veneers meant to add decorative complexity to the design, you can see one along the bottom of the left side panel in the picture. Those require some patience. Beyond that, as long as you have a second person and you take your time, the table can be comfortably assembled in two and a half hours. Give yourself plenty of room and plenty of light. Once assembled, the table is beautiful and extremely solid. It even has a hidden fifth leg in the center to add more strength to the design, and I suspect it needs it. This is a very heavy coffee table, much heavier than it looks. The top, however, raises effortlessly and makes for a perfect workspace while you're sitting on the sofa. For some reason, Amazon does not have photos of what the top looks like when raised. It essentially becomes a raised desk, and I would encourage you to search for a few images of the expanded coffee table on the internet. I will attach one as well. Even if you never use it as a desk, the table itself looks beautiful, and is a solid, practical piece with a decent amount of internal storage. In addition, the feet, so far, don't seem to scuff our hardwood floor. I would caution that the edges of the top are a little sharper than I might like, especially if you have little ones running around. Review number 3 When I read reviews that it was particle board, I was worried that it was going to be the cheap, flimsy wood you get from Target bookshelves for $20 bucks. Nope. First off, the box weighed 74 pounds. I'm a small woman, and put it together by myself. It took two hours and a wine break. No missing pieces, and if you follow instructions exactly it's pretty straightforward. Attaching the top was a bit tricky. By hour two I was tired and grumpy and just left it for when my dad came over to help. It's a beautiful color and looks just like the advertised picture. By the end it says the top can withstand 50 pounds, the middle storage, perfect for remotes, laptops, cords, iPads, etc., can hold 25 pounds and the bottom shelves can hold 40. Very good investment. Review number 4. I love this coffee table. However, I have put together several pieces of furniture by myself, some fairly complicated and others fairly easy. This was way beyond me. Fortunately, 
I have a wonderful neighbor who happens to be a brilliant architect to boot, put it together for me. My only role was to sit by ready to hand over whatever he needed next. It took the amazing Steve three, three, hours to put my coffee table together. It would have taken me a month. Seriously. For those of you who do not have a Steve in your life or are not like Steve, find a Steve. This coffee table is well worth it but the level of difficulty in putting it together may be a hindrance. Final thought, so glad I bought it. It fits my space perfectly, feels really solid and looks quite elegant. Review number 1. Update. Okay, I got the missing hardware within a week and was ready to tackle assembly. Here are my recommendations. The parts are well machined and the instructions are excellent. Do not even attempt to assemble this without following the instructions page by page. Be sure you've got all parts needed for a step, they are itemized and you even get a to size picture of the screws and such. Adjust your attitude so you're thinking you are having a great building adventure and not that you've got to put the asterisk at number. Thing together and you'll be happier. Know that this line of solder's furniture is much higher quality than that cheapy stuff you've almost lost your mind over in the past. 1. Assemble the sides. Feel good. Take a break. 2. Assemble the base up through the bumpers in the top.